Hi there, this is Alex coming to you from Pacific Northwest Bible Journaling here on the Creative Retreat YouTube channel with this month's kit, Prayers of Boldness by Caitlin Warnett. I'm so excited about the this topic of prayer as I have just loved diving into particularly what's in the devotional content. Today I'm going to be focused on 1 John 5, 14 through 15, um, and I'm asking myself, what is God asking you to trust him with, which is a question in the devotional, and then also focused a little on a previous entry you can see on my Instagram, just as a still shot about the ask him, he gives, seek him, find him, knock on his door, he will open it quote from the devotional. And so I've really been leaning into being intentional with prayer, praying the scripture and what it means um, to really pray bold prayers. And so this passage in 1 John, you saw me just read it there. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life and that this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the requests that we have asked of him. And really just remembering that when we ask within his will and within what scripture tells us he has for us, we can ask him boldly and with confidence. And so today I wanted to focus on that idea of asking him with confidence. Um, One reason that Bible journaling is so inspiring to me is that I'm able to really focus in on what God's promises are to me and what his character is. And when I know those things, I can pray in line with his will. And if I'm praying in line with what scripture says, I know I can ask boldly. So I prepped the ask stamp there on my arm, and I know I'm going to start with it at the top of the page. I also know that I'm really enjoying these little succulent stickers. There's a trio of them, pink, peach, and green. Um, here you see me kind of practicing out with the idea of putting at with confidence at the top. Um, after I decide I want to use this lower section, not every page has this much room um, because it's the end of this chapter five. Um, there is this extra bit of room. So I decide using my gelatos here that I'm going to put some blossoms on the bottom of the page. And so you'll see me go at it with these fun, bright, vibrant colors. I originally started this month by pulling supplies I had on hand that were similar in color scheme. And so it was really easy for me to see what I had that coordinated, know what I had to use. And so when I decided I wanted to do some blossoms to fill this space, it was really easy for me to know I wanted to use gelato. I really wanted this bold kind of bright floral at the bottom in this space. And so I'm using a baby wipe just to spread the color and to get a little bit of the kind of greasy waxiness off. And then I'm going to pull the three succulent blossoms off. I toy with what order to put them on in the center of this blossom. And then I know that I want to, um, well, here you see me, I'm going to stamp ask, and I actually decide to use the teal at the bottom. I I decided I wanted to have ask on the page twice because I have been really leaning into this idea that we have the authority to ask with boldness and with confidence. So here on the bottom, I'm going to put ask with confidence and I'm using these tiny little alphas. It was pretty easy to get the with centered. You will see me count out seven or so, excuse me, three, six, nine, ten letters of confidence. I think I only originally counted out seven, so I get halfway through this word or two-thirds of the way through this word and realize, oh, I'm going to run out of room. So what I ended up doing, and I also went back to the scripture to make sure I was spelling it correctly because I'm kind of known for making silly mistakes like that. Um, So I started on the right side later and am now moving towards the left. That's one strategy to making sure that your letters all fit. If I went back and did this again, I probably would have put them along the top of like the clear wrapper you see on the far left of the screen, line them up and then put them on the page sticking off that clear wrapper. I've used that strategy before and I wouldn't have had to peel up the stickers as much. They ended up going down just fine. So now I'm going to dive into the back or go back to the detail on my gelato blossoms. I tried a gel pen, that didn't work. I couldn't get my whiteout pen working. And so here I resort to acrylic paint with a paintbrush. 
The lines were a little bit thicker than I probably would have originally selected, but I do like how it turns out at the end. So what I'm doing is I'm mimicking the design of the succulents and I'm creating kind of an outer petal and then an inner petal, just so that they resemble the design of the stickers. And so I complete that knowing that it, it isn't exactly what I had thought. So you'll see me later actually pick up the um, stickers and pull them up, pull them up because I'm just not sure that I like it. Um, I put them at the top of the page, I toy with them. Ultimately, I end up with them right back here because I like how that looks. So this design you see is how it ends up being. Um, so now I'm going to use some of the bold words. The sticker that I select here for the tab just says pray because obviously that's the topic of this particular entry, but really my month of study. So I use a bit of the devotional card that doesn't have words on it and I stamped out a tab and, and applied that pray sticker. And then I pull off the words dear and amen because I know I'm going to, in the journaling margin, actually write out a prayer and I want to use the stamps, dear and amen. I go back through and reread the scripture because the other thing that I often am known for doing is highlighting the portion of scripture that's incorrect or even journaling on the incorrect page. And I want to make sure that I get the correct passage. So I pulled out when I read it that again to make sure I was looking at the correct passage, ask him be bold. And so I'm spelling out the words, the word him here, and then I pull off from the bold um, or the, the block word Fetty stickers, be bold. Um, and so it'll say, ask him, be bold. Again, I don't always have a pre-designed concept when I'm doing this. And so you'll see me actually jump back to stamps and I put the deer in. I got lucky that the be bold word Fetty stickers fit when I went to back to apply them. I should have applied them right before I stamped because, or laid it out before I stamped because ultimately I could have ended up with not enough space. So sometimes journaling is truly about learning as you go. Um, here I decided, okay, before I forget, I'm going to outline the whole passage. I love this Illustrated Faith highlighter washi. Um, just because you can bring in a variety of colors, you can actually go over the words and highlight them, but I often just like to box in. Here I'm using a bunch of different colors and smaller pieces because I wanted to tie together all the colors of that are all over the design. Tie the top purple tab to the scripture. There's a little bit of that same color in one of those stickers down there. It kind of resembles that. And so I wanted to tie those colors together. So here I also used some Tombow glue to put the tab down and then some of the highlighter washi also to hold it in place. I love to create a layered look around my tabs. And then here I am applying the Be Bold. You'll see me have to fidget a little because it was a really tight fit between the stamp and the alpha stickers. If you know you want to do a title like that, I suggest you work from the top down and don't skip around. Again, here I am trying to decide, do I like the succulent stickers in the middle? Do I want to move around? Again, I settled with them where they originally were. And that's sort of how I Bible journal. I love to play and try different things. I've never used enamel stickers that are like these that are in the kit this month. They're little stars and dots, and there are three different sizes. So they create kind of a three-dimensional effect um, and a feel, which I love. That's my most favorite kind of journaling is a mixed media layered look. So I have those. Um, again, trying to think about using a triad kind of filler effect. I did three up by the top ask, three down by the bottom ask. And then because there's so much um, of the highlighter wash at the top, I only used two of the enamels on the tab. But using three kind of creates a balanced effect. And you'll hear a lot of designers encourage you to work in triangulated numbers, which is why I did three blossoms at the bottom. Probably why Danielle designed three succulent stickers, that kind of thing. So here I am writing out my prayer to the Lord. And I really went back and forth on if I wanted to do, name something specific here on the page or if I wanted to pray more broadly. And so I said, there's so much you have planted inside me. I ask you with the authority you have given me as one who believes in the name of the Son of God with confidence that I know comes from you 
to reveal yourself to me. Show me the next steps, where to say yes, where to lean in and where I shouldn't. I ask you to use me, be my motive, my strength and bring you glory. Um, And then I go back and you'll see me underline my prayers. Anytime I'm writing my own thoughts in my Bible, I underline it. And that way it just makes it very differentiated between quoted scripture or a quoted pastor or leader or author whose words I wouldn't underline. Um, When I see that underline, I know immediately that it's my thoughts and my prayer. So that's why I choose to do that. Um, Again, it's scrappy and quick. And then I stamp at the bottom the word amen. Again, I really lucked out that it fits so perfectly. Um, Some of that is that I have sort of a a knack for that kind of visual stuff. But a lot of times it doesn't always work out that way if you don't pre-do the layout. But that completes my page. I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me as I journaled and as I really sought the Lord through this particular passage of scripture. I did date stamp the bottom. I always love to include that because it marks when this was processing in my heart and mind. Um, My date stamp never seems to get it just right. So I fixed it with a little black pen and that's it for me. I hope you enjoy that you are able to dive into the May kit. I would love to know your tips if you have any for using white on top of color. You saw me use acrylic paint here but I would be intrigued to know what other strategies you have for writing words or adding detail in white. Thanks for tuning in to the Creative Retreat YouTube channel. This is Alex of PNW Bible Journaling signing off.